Hi, I'm Ryan Panda, and I'll be talking about pepper moths and how they are linked to evolution. Almost 200 years ago, English biologist Charles Darwin made a theory. It was stated in that theory that animals evolve and develop special traits according to their natural habitats. They, they develop these special traits because it will help them to survive longer and reproduce more. Thus, the theory of evolution by natural selection. One, one of the most excellent examples of evolution in action is the peppered moth. There are, curr there are currently two known species of peppered moth. The, the white typica moth and the black carbonaria moth. But before the industrial revolution in England, there was only one species of moth. The typica moth. And as you can see with the specimen that I've got here, it's completely white with black dots. But after the rev industrial revolution in England, there was a new species, the carbonaria moth. And as you can see here, it's completely black. And this is because the trees in England started to t turn darker colors. And moths and trees are the main resting place of uh, peppered moths. And once the trees turn darker, this uh, typical moth right here was becoming easier prey for birds. So the moths had to change color. Why have trees and forests suddenly started to turn black? Well, research tells us that all over the world, in places that can support uh, woodland uh, wildlife, there are fungal creatures that, called lichens that cover the trees. Uh, the lichens cultivate algae, which help the trees with, photos with this photosynthetic process. After the Industrial Revolution in England, um, when there was lots of pollution in the forests, the lichen population decreased greatly. You see, the lichen was what gave the trees the whitish color, and once, once the population of lichen was decreased, the trees became dark, and the moths needed to evolve and, and uh, grow the bodily characteristic of the black color in order to camouflage with the trees. Now, according to Darwin's theory, out of natural selection and a need to keep a balance in the food chain, the polluted forests, in the polluted forests, moths had evolved and started, to, uh, started turning black and creating the new Carbonaria species, as you as you've seen earlier, and here is and that is truly evidence of Darwin's theory in action. Now, to prove this method, biologist Bernard Kettlewell um, of Oxford University decided to take hundreds of uh, moth species, uh, both t uh, Typica and Carbonaria, and go out to forests in England, namely the forest of Rubery and the forest of Dorset. Now, the forests of Rubery are near Birmingham, which is a polluted area, and the forests of Dorset are unclean and unpolluted. And a few evenings later, he came back to collect as many moss species as he could, and he found, and he found um, that after calculating the numbers, he found that in the unpolluted forests, the typical mo uh, there were more typical moss than the Carbonaria moss, and in the polluted forests, there were more Carbonaria moss than typical moss. So this means that the Carbonaria moths are a new species and Darwin's theory has been proved.